Alright, today we got, of course, my new six speed truck. And first things first on all my builds, what I do is usually a lift kit, fuel system, maybe injectors, and a tuner. So the tuner's on the way, but Air Dog sponsored the video today and sent us out one of their DF 165-4Gs for my company. So it goes 98 and a half to 04. 24 valves, five nines. So let's get this box opened up and get it installed on my truck. Oh boy. First off, nothing like opening up a box and seeing a nice 2G. And detailed instructions. What we got right here is our wiring harness. The whole air dog harness is all plug and play. Direct hook up to the battery or fuse panel or however you want to hook up your power. That's nice. It comes already loomed, relay installed, and all taped up. Second thing for the box we got is our fuel hose. Looks like half inch. A half inch diesel RX fuel hose. 300 PSI. Nice. We got our mounts for it the fuel system along with our pump right there we got our fuel pump for it this is the best part about it all that's where it's at then we're going to the box it should have all of our bolts inside of it. So if we have our draw tube, this will get mounted to the top of the sending unit. We have all of our fittings for the pump and the VP side. O-ring kit for our customer service. The bolt kit to bolt it to the mount to the frame. The spacer to space it away a little bit from the frame and the physical mount for the air dog fuel system itself. So let's go ahead in here. Got a mount to the side of the truck. First thing we want to do is don't lose this. I've lost a couple of them, we don't want to lose that. Put your washer on there. This goes to your injection pump. So we'll take off all of our little inserts. Screw this in. So you run this one to your engine, so you have your hose from here to your VP, and then you will run this one, I think, to your tank, and this one's a return. Yep, tank and return. That's actually their newest system right now. I'm pretty sure they're coming out with the 5G or they already came out with the 5G. I'm not sure though, but I love it. First things first, what we're going to do here is we're going to probably take the stock fuel system off, stock fuel bowl, stock feed line, and all we leave on here is the return line from the engine back to the tank. So pop the vacuum hose off really quick, get that out of the way so we don't break it. And 17 millimeter takes off the stock bolt off the VP44 pump. Be careful when you install your new fitting because the old crush washer could stay stuck to the VP. And this is your first time doing this, you will learn that that will cause a leak sooner than later. So you will drip some fuel down. And I will show you guys what I'm talking about. This right here. Don't want to lose those crush washers. You won't need them, but if you want to turn your truck back to stock, you will. I'm going to unbolt our stock fuel bolt right here. Yeah, so I was... 
stock fuel bowl all unhooked. We're gonna grab a hose clamp tool, some vice grips. Take that off. Grab your fuel filter bowl out of there. Anyone who needs it, it's a replacement element. I'm selling it on my uh, website for, what do you want to say, Thomas? 500? It's all for 1,500 bucks. All right, yeah. I'll take 1,500 bucks for it. And uh, maybe I'll even sign it for you. <laughs> so I set that to the side. Stock lift pump. And this right here is a plug you're going to need to plug your new fuel system into adapter and a pigtail on it. Now hook your stock feed line, pinch those wires and then let's grab the socket from the top. So on the VP44 side of our line, we're gonna take our 90 degree fitting push them in. They push right in very easily. And uh, there you go. There's your fitting. So we're going to run this up to the DP44. Plug that in. Run that hose down. Down and out. To the bottom of the truck. Plug it down the ground. And this it's very, very, very easy. This will just plug right into your pump, and there it is. Finish up the wiring and run the wire harness when you get up here and get it hooked up. Next is our harness. Obviously, in order for the pump to work, it has to be plugged in. So, off of the relay, you'll have three wires in loops. One goes to your plugged for your stock lift pump. The other one with the fuse on it will run to your battery or your power source of something. I recommend directly to the battery because it gets the most voltage. And then you'll have this one, the longer one, will go to your lift pump. I usually start this off with sending this wire down first and then pulling the relay up. So unless you have a lift that you are working out, which I do have a lift, but you see it's kind of accommodated right now by big truck stuff, which will have an air dog fuel system on it. And uh, anyways, so what we're going to start off with is we're going to push this down through the fender, just like we did on the fuel line. Plug this in, we'll loom uh, all this back up, zip tie it up, run this to our battery, and get all underneath the hood done first before anything, and we'll move to the back. So what I like to do when I do my fuel systems is I like to run the wires very neat. So from my experience, I usually run them in between the booster and the throttle cable. And that'll give us enough play to be able to run it very, very neat. And I'll come around here. This other one will go the same way. That's your factory point. That will go your same way down and let that just hang for a little bit. And you'll take this wire. You have a manual. Run around this. Don't mind the wires tapping in the fender. The truck is getting painted. By yours truly, T. King Cummins. And I take this around here. Use. Hold this up for a minute. These are our power wires. Set those inside there. And really just find the most nicest way to run this. I have to push this one underneath our ABS module. Oh, it worked a lot better. Red and black wires coming out of here. Nothing getting tugged up at all. 
push these wires down around our hydraulics and that'll just come out and underneath our harness that runs to our PCM on the firewall. A little bit of a squeeze but nothing looks better than opening up an engine bay to hanging wire. Roll it all up and set it underneath our battery until we are done installing our fuel system. Now, that's all I close for the clutch. And we have our stock location, which I was telling you about earlier. And this plugs in right here. You guys can see it. These plug in together, just like that. And I will take a zip tie and probably zip tie it up somewhere nice. Now we have all of this done. Fuel lines run on there. Don't mind the oil. We changed the oil in the process. Old oil. I went ahead and moved the bed back a little bit and dropped the tank out of it because I'm going to change up the mounting a little bit. You guys can mount it however you want it with the supplied brackets or whatever, self-explanatory. I don't use these brackets. What I do is I put these on here like that. Put the bolts on. Put these in. And then I run them straight to the frame. Tightening up these fittings. Really fast here. Setting this in over here. You guys can see here where I put the new mount. Pull to the right to the frame, drop the tank to do so. That's so much funnier in my opinion. I bolt that in and run some lines. Alright, we went ahead and ran our power through the frame rail. Got our line all ran down the side of the frame. That's all ran nice. Comes up and over right here. So we'll go around the body mount a little bit and straight into our straight into our system. So let's put that end down and plug her in. I saw I played a cup with my homies dressed in all black and we cozy. Can't say you love, you gotta show me. With my guys, then I'm dolly. Hey. Ain't no vibe like this, they don't rock like this, and you know we don't miss. Swish. Man, they don't catch my drift, tell them I ain't they busy, catch my chest. And there it is. Like so the time lapse you guys just seen was us installing the draw tube on this, which is pretty self explanatory through the directions. Um, we got that installed. On this kit, the factory feed line turns into your return. So you modify that, and then your factory feed line is your return. This goes to the engine, this goes to the return into the tank, and then this pumps the fuel out of the tank into the VP, or into the fuel system, or sends it to the VP. Wires are ran, very, very, very clean install. Let's get the bed pushed back forward and see how she runs. Kind of a little bit of a change in uh, weather, but our fuel system's done, and we're in Florida with it. So I literally installed this fuel system three hours prior to hitting the road. I haven't even driven the truck without the trailer on it since I put the fuel system on. I literally pulled it out of the shop up in Indiana, back up to the trailer and left and drove 1,300 miles on a brand new out of the box fuel system, zero issues. So check it out down here. We have a air dog right there. Got it all installed and it runs great. That is how you install an air dog fuel system on your uh, 98 to 05 Cummins. So we're in Florida. The next video will probably be about how I almost totaled this truck and how we are like thankful to be alive. That's not even funny. So uh, 
Happened to me once, happened to Thomas once. All at night time while driving with my 44 foot trailer. And it was loaded down with my girl Shorty and Thomas's standard cab long bed dually that we just framed off that you've seen in my last video. We're getting ready to go and paint one, two, three trucks, and maybe a trailer. So Thomas paint my trailer. Let me know now in the comments. But thanks for watching.